Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've just been to Ollie's, everyone's favorite place to get, what is their slogan, like good stuff cheap or something like that. Anyway, I, I went there, I got a ton of stuff. And now I'm gonna show it all to you in a lovely Ollie's haul. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome to my channel. Come on in, make yourselves comfortable. Hit subscribe if you like what you see. I have bought things at Ollie's a lot in the past. Anytime I talk about it on this channel, um, I always get people in the comments being like, OMG, I love Ollie's. Me and my friends go there. Me and my husband go on a date night. Like, I don't know what it is about Ollie's. It's such a weird and magical place. You never know what you're gonna find there. So uh, I thought it would be fun to share this haul with you because I got so much random stuff. Like It's all over the place. And if you don't know what Ollie's is, basically what they do is they buy out brands that are going out of business or like like brick and mortar stores that are going out of business and stuff like that. And then they like resell the things. Okay, let's get right into it. I actually went with my two sons and my husband to Ollie's today and I let everyone pick out whatever they wanted. The kids got to pick out anything that they found cool. So we're gonna start with the books and my children went right for the books. They have so many good ones there. If you need maybe a refresh on your bookshelf for all ages, including, you know, adults and everything, they have crazy good deals on books. This was $2.99. <laughs> Star Wars Lightsabers, A Guide to Weapons of the Force. Uh, I, I don't know. Normally I'm not like a big weapons girl, but my husband, he loves uh, Star Wars. So naturally the boys are uh, picking up on that a little bit. So... Now they have a guide to all of the lightsabers. Next for $2.99, my little guy Desmond found this one and thought it was cute. Tech, the modern cave boy, and it's set up like a little iPad here, but it is indeed a book and I thought it was so cute. Um, I don't really know what it's about. I didn't read all the way through it, but generally it is set up just like an iPad, but it is a story and I thought, how fun is that? Next for 99 cents, we got a Minions, Long Live King Bob. Because my children will automatically grab anything with a Minion on it and want to have it. That's just the way it is. That's the way it will always be. We're a Minion family. Next, still in the vein of like books, I guess, paper products, I grabbed a couple of these journals. They each picked, the boys each picked out a donut journal. My oldest fox, he got this little notepad for um, Valentine's Day and he's been like writing um, like spy things. So he'll be like, mommy is on her phone. Daddy is making a sandwich and he'll like write it in his little book, uh, but he's running out of space. So they had tons of these. They were each $2.99. They have tons of paper products there, like all sorts of notebooks and like office type stuff. And $3 is a really good deal for one of these little notebooks. So each of the boys can carry on with their spy business. In the same sort of area where they have all of like the paper and office stuff, they have lots of arts and crafts type stuff as well. And for $3.59, I picked up this huge stack of 200 sheets of construction paper. And it's really just because we were getting a little low in our arts and crafts drawer. Uh, we use it for all sorts of things. I mean, on a rainy day, all you gotta do is grab some paper and the kids will just entertain themselves for ages. Also, for $1.99 in that same section, I grabbed these Crayola metallic crayons. I've never seen these before. I thought they were pretty fun. We like to keep a large variety of things for the kids to, you know, color with and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, we thought adding some metallic crayons would be a little bit fun. All right, next I picked up some like Ziploc style bags. These are not Ziploc brand. The brand is called Sturdy, Sturdy with an I. Uh, so I'm not really sure if these are really high quality or not, but this was $1.99 for 100 sandwich bags. These will last me ages. I don't normally use like the plastic um, like Ziploc type things if I can help it. So hoping these will last a really long time, but I guess we'll see. Also for 99 cents, I picked up some freezer ones. These are a quart. I like the quart size ones like to do like lunches and things for my husband's mini crock pot. I also grabbed 40 gallon bags as well as 30 gallon freezer bags. So hopefully that will keep me uh, well stocked for a really long time. 
All right, moving on to toys. This time of year, they basically have one aisle with toys, but if you're shopping around Christmas time, they have boat loads of toys at Ollie's. It's a great uh, place to shop for stocking stuffers and gifts for everybody. Uh, but the boys were allowed to like, you know, get in there and see if they wanted anything. They both picked surprisingly small items. Uh, these were each $3.99 and we have a little Mario and a little, uh, uh, a little Yoshi. Now, my kids have tons of stuff like this already. However, they don't have an egg and they don't have a mushroom this size. So they were like, oh, we gotta get those. More Minion stuff. Minion Splatums. I, do I even know what this is? No, not really. Oh, it looks like a, some sort of, you launch a tiny Minion at a Target. So these were $1.99. Moving on, let's talk about some food. Now, you gotta be careful with the food at Ollie's because sometimes it's expired. And one time I bought these protein shakes there and I got home and I opened it up and it was like jelly. I like squeezed it and it came out like in a tube. It was so gross and sad. So, you know, a word of caution if you're gonna go with the food, be careful what you pick. Always look at the dates. Uh, my husband picked out these pretzel pieces. These are the Parmesan garlic limited edition flavor. Probably the last ones in existence are all at Ollie's. Uh, but for $2.29, I mean, decent deal for the Snyder's pretzel pieces. I think that's probably about what they cost anyway, but he was very excited to try this flavor. Next, for $1.79, the boys picked out fruit snacks because, of course, they're Paw Patrol. So, of course, they had to have them. And really, a buck seventy-nine for 10 fruit snack pouches. I mean, that's a pretty decent deal. It's not that bad, and I know they'll eat them. Next, I found these little uh, minute rice, like tubs of rice. My husband often, um, he will make like a crock pot meal at work. Uh, I will leave a video down below if you wanna see how I meal prep for his mini crock pot. Uh, but a lot of times he likes to put whatever's in the crock pot over rice. So I thought these were cool because he can just microwave this at work and have like rice. Next, for $3.99, my children, picked out this huge thing of cheese balls. And it's kind of odd because my older son like hates cheese of all kinds, but like if it's a cheese ball, he'll like think about it and maybe have a couple. Uh, but they both were like, oh man, we gotta get them cheese balls. <laughs> this is definitely something I wouldn't normally like buy when we go grocery shopping, but I think that's the fun part about Ollie's is you just end up with all sorts of little treasures. Next, for $5.99, I got this 20 pack of Cheez-Its. These are great for Fox's lunch um, and for his snack at school. Uh, and it's a decent deal for a 20 pack, six bucks. You know, I can get behind it. It's not expired, so no reason why we can't throw this in the stash of, you know, snacky, lunchy items. Next, one of my favorite things ever. I always get a bag when they have it at Aldi. This is a different brand, but I know it's still good. The uh, sweet corn flavored popcorn. I know some people try this and they think it's horrible, but I think there's literally nothing better than a fire roasted sweet corn flavored popcorn. It's like the most genius idea for popcorn. So, so delicious. This was three, what is it, 49. 349 for this big old bag. So not super cheap. Definitely the white cheddar at Aldi is a lot cheaper, but uh, it is sort of like a special flavor that we don't always run into. And Desmond really wanted it because he knows how good it is. So we grabbed it. Next, for $2.49, we picked up a family-sized box of chocolate Lucky Charms. Uh, obviously, my children love a good Lucky Charm moment. I mean, who doesn't? And these are chocolate, so why not? I mean, I know I can get like cereal for cheaper, but this is a huge box. One pound, 3.5 ounces. For $2.50, it's really a decent deal for the name brand. The real deal. Magically delicious. And the last food item I grabbed was some everything but the bagel seasoning. Normally I get this at Trader Joe's, but I'm all out. This was only $3.79 and it's huge. It's really, really big. And I looked at it and it's got all the right ingredients. It's doing all the things I want it to do. Garlic, onion, sesame seeds, poppy seeds, all the bits. Uh, so yeah, I love putting this on all sorts of things. It's a great seasoning. Every good cook should have, even bad cooks should have it, honestly. All right, moving on to our home category. Just a couple things in this area, but we got good deals, so let me share. 
The first thing we got for $35.99 is a heater, an oscillating ceramic tower heater slash fan. And I will say that all of the heaters were an extra 25% off today, so it was a very good deal. And my husband has been asking me for one to go in the basement when he's working from home. It's very cold down there, and he has a little heating pad he puts on his lap, but he's been asking for one of these. So, uh, right place, right time, and it just worked out, so we grabbed one. All right, next, because we're obviously freezing over here, I got myself a heated throw. Guys, I am the coldest human of all time. Like, I can't even tell you how cold my life is. It's the worst. Um, and I've been wanting to find a heated throw for a while. Like, anytime I'm at Target or whatever, I'm like moseying around, I always like look out for one, and I've never seen one. And today, they had one at Ollie's. I did pay $27 for it, but even if you look on Amazon, this is a really good deal for a heated throw. So. I'm very excited to get all snuggled up tonight with all the snow outside and this stupid February that is freezing and I'm gonna be all warm and I'm excited about it. All right, you guys, I saved the biggest and best for last. For only $60, you guys. Ooh, I got this huge piece of luggage. This is like one of the, you know, the big ones. It's like the hard one, which we love. And it's the most obnoxious color and we'll never lose it. The best thing ever is having a recognizable suitcase if you're someone that flies. So when we saw this bright orange one, we were like, all right, that's perfect. Uh, my husband and I um, have been looking for new luggage. We're going on a big trip in about a month. And my husband didn't have like a big suitcase. We always like borrow one and we're like, all right, it's about time you get your own, you know? So. Uh, we weren't like planning on grabbing this today, but then we saw it and we were like actually 60 bucks is an amazing deal for a good piece of luggage. So yeah, she came home with us and for only $60, that's such a good deal. And there you go. That's all the stuff we got at Ollie's. I think we did really good. We spent just under $200, but we did get some big ticket items. The heater, the heating blanket, a ton of food, obviously the luggage. We really did get a ton of stuff for the price. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know, do you have an Ollie's? Do you love Ollie's? It's definitely kind of a niche experience when you go there, but I'm always down for it, even though once in a while I do get things like gelatinous protein shakes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!